Hey everybody, and welcome back. So glad you could make it again to another video. And today, we're gonna have some fun and make one of our family's favorite recipes. Hello family and friends, I'm Susan, and welcome to my home. Hey everybody, it's Susan here, and it's time for a good homemade meal. One of our all-time favorites is baked mac and cheese. Great for homecomings, reunions, or of course, every family holiday. It's a staple at our house for the holidays. So, let me show you how easy it can be. It doesn't take a lot to put together. It takes longer to cook, but still, you could get it done in about 45 minutes. So, ponytail up, let's get to cooking. And my baked mac and cheese recipe came from a crock pot mac and cheese recipe that I decided to make in the oven. And it turned out amazing, and we've been making it for years. So what we need is an eight ounce mac and cheese, which I've just got the Kraft mac and cheese Thick and creamy, it doesn't matter. One of them is fine. One stick of butter, which I'll get out here in a second. Two cups of cheddar cheese, which I've got in the fridge. One can of evaporated milk, which is right here. One and a half cups of milk and two eggs beaten. And I'll show you a trick to make this amazing. But the first thing I'm gonna do is boil the mac and cheese. And I've got the macaroni noodles already baked, and I let them set for just a little bit so they absorb some of the water. That way they'd puff up. And the next item I'm going to do is put a lot of the ingredients in this glass container. The secret to making this really good is putting the mixture in the microwave and warming it up. So I'm going to put the stick of butter in this, I'm going to put the evap milk in this, I'm going to put the packet of cheese that came with the mac and cheese in this, and Two cups of cheddar cheese, which you know I get the big bags, in this. I did add a little bit of Colby Jack because I had it. Now I need to get the two eggs to add to this and the regular milk. Okay, and that was two eggs that were beaten. I added into the mix. And now I need to add my cup and a half of milk. I'm only going to do one cup of milk. I don't want it to be too liquidy. One cup of milk. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of mix it around a little bit. And I am going to put it in the microwave for about a minute and let it heat up. That way it'll mix easier with the mac and cheese and then I can put it in my container and get it baking. Okay, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. Okay, and I put all that into the microwave for two minutes and the butter is just about completely melted. So now I can add the macaroni and cheese. Now I'm going to pour the macaroni into the mac and cheese mixture. I did drain it, and I'm still going to use a slotted spoon because it didn't get all the water out of there. So that way I can get as much water as I, out as I can because I don't want it to be extremely watery. Now, I'm just going to mix all of this around so the mac and cheese gets mixed up with all the rest of the cheeses and the milks and stuff. Get it all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm going to pour it into this container, which is, I believe, an eight by eight. 
and hope I don't splatter everything in the process. And it's right up to the top, which is fine. It's not going to bake up too much. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on this. sheet pan so if it does boil over I've got something to take care of it and this will go in the oven as soon as it hits 350 which will be here in a second and we'll bake it for 30 minutes and I'll probably flip it at 15. Oven is now at 350. I'm going to place this in the oven for 15 minutes and then I will flip it at the 15 minute mark. So I'm setting my timer for 15 minutes And I'll come back at 15 minutes and see how it's looking. We're 15 minutes in, and I'm just going to go ahead and flip this around. As you can see, it's starting to get um, more solid on top. It just needs a little bit more cooking. So, another 15 minutes, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, here's 15 more minutes. I think I'm going to let it go for maybe five more, and then it'll be done. Okay. This is ready to come out of the oven. Now, baked mac and cheese, you've got a little bit of the good crunchy brown. As you can see, it's bubbling all the way around the corners. And that is going with me to the grandson's birthday party. And whenever we dig into it, I will take pictures and let you see what it looks like on the inside. I gotta let it cool off just a little bit because it is hot, hot, hot. And here's what it looked like when we took the first spoon out. And here's what it looked like on my plate. So good. I hope that you've enjoyed this video on the baked mac and cheese. Like I said earlier, for homecoming or reunion or family holidays or family gatherings, this is such an awesome recipe to take with you. People love it and it gets ate up so you don't have a whole lot of leftovers to bring home, which is really good. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Leave me a comment. I will comment back. I do for every comment that I have out there. So let me know what y'all think, what y'all would like to see next. If there's any recipes out there that you've saw and you wonder how good they are, because you know I'll make them and I'll tell you exactly what I think about them. Until next time, have a great week. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you'd like a return comment from me and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.